Hello everybody, welcome to another vlog. Now, uh, yes, <laughs> I know people are going to be like, no, Nolsey, uh, stop it! Uh, stop it! Talking about this stuff, but anyways, I just, this is not, I'm not going to be doing an update or anything like that. I did an update the last one onto the previous video before that. Uh, those two videos were going into the whole copper thing a little bit in more, in much more detail. But, um, but no, I just want to kind of talk about the whole thing with um, <laughs> now it's going around that they're going to be starting to delete channels. At first, I thought this was just. You know, people just jumping on the bandwagon and trying to make things work, seem a lot worse than they already were. Uh, because that does happen with YouTube. You do get some uh, you do get some people that are being truthful. You get some people that just jump on the bandwagon and come up with stupid little things just to kind of make things seem worse. And it's working. It's working for a lot of people if that was the case. But it isn't the case and at this moment in time. It seems like... Anything, any channels that aren't viable, like they don't have any, they don't generate any revenue for a YouTube, will most likely be deleted. And they're talking that this will start to be rolled out for next month, December month. So I'm just going to wait and see if I, if all my YouTube channels that I've set up over the years, um, this one. My TF Nosy channel and what have you. If my channels still survive going through to January of 2020, then I don't really have to worry too much on that front, really, at that point. But if all my channels get pulled, if this is true, then yeah, unfortunately, at least I don't have to worry about being fined 42,500 and some dollars. Uh, that, that is the main good thing that comes from that but at the same time it means I can't create anymore and if I if well I could make another channel but I'm not going to bother <clears throat> because I'm just going to be hit with the same issues you know the, the thing is we don't know the true ins and outs of this we have very very little bits of information coming coming to us all right the information isn't very clear and we've got so many people, such as myself, making videos that no doubt aren't really helping people uh, in the way that the, we want them to. And they're just adding to the confusion. And I apologise if my videos have added to some confusion. But like I say, I'm hoping that what Mike Case said when I, uh, <clears throat> when I spoke about it in my previous vlog, my update vlog... Where he's commented saying that anyone that doesn't have monetization on their channels and doesn't don't have ads and aren't you know aren't generating money from ads on their videos, then you should be fine. Um, but that's all well and good. If that's true, then I'm okay. But now this stuff coming out saying that the now that they're um, coming out with all this crap about that channels are going to start getting deleted that aren't viable to YouTube where they're not making any money for them. So in, in, in essence, it's almost as if they are trying to force channels to increase subscriber-wise and um, just for them to be just fined. It's almost as if they're searching for fines. Now, I don't think it's YouTube specifically that's saying this. I mean, obviously, YouTube have had to, by law, because it's an American website and this is an, uh, an American law, copper is an American law, not um, uh, English law or British law, whatever. Um, this is an American law. So, with it being an American site, unfortunately, they have to roll these decisions out. But the thing is... We don't really know the true ins and outs of how it's going to affect us that aren't in America. People are saying that it's going to affect every creator on the platform. Now, that doesn't make sense. If that law, that copper law, does not have any legislation anywhere else 
doesn't have any ground anywhere else apart from America or wherever else still supports it, say maybe Canada, etc. Bar rights, should these, will these fines be actually lawful? Or would these be able to be in a court of law taken away? Because essentially you've just been fined for something that isn't, that isn't, it's got nothing to do with us. Because it's not a law that's in the UK. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm confused. Constantly confused. But I'm just going to keep watching. I'm not going to make any more videos until the until January. I'm actually going to go on a massive hiatus again. I've only just come back from a hiatus. But unfortunately, I'm going to go on a hiatus until January. If my channels survive up to then... Then I should be fine to continue making videos, but I'm going to have to make some drastic changes because even though Mike Case said in it said in his comment that it's not going to it's going to it's not going to have any issues or implications for for me or anybody else that doesn't that doesn't have monetization on their channels and and don't get paid via the ads, so they don't generate money via the ads on their videos, so. <clears throat> That's so well and good, but what about this other bit that's been going around? Is this only for America as well, or is this for everybody? So, are they rolling out this thing where deletion of your channel could be their way of getting getting around this uh, this law? Where, right, okay, so they're in America, they're in Europe, we can just delete those channels and we can just keep the ones that are from America only so we can generate some money or we can uh, bring this law into full force. I don't know, I mean, I could be completely talking shit here, I probably am. I'm, I'm, I don't know what to talk about, really, because... People are constantly talking about this. I mean, I even saw somebody even deleted their channel. In my opinion, that's a bit premature. But somebody actually deleted their channel outright already. Now, I'm I'm just riding this out. And if my channel survived until January, then I'm going to start considering to change up my material. Um, like I mentioned in my previous vlogs, I'm either going to maybe downsize my channel so it's just one channel and it could either be my vlog channel or I could delete all the videos that I've done on this channel, uh, on my TF Nosey channel, sorry, and just start from scratch. Still got those 300 and odd subscribers, but just start from scratch, all new different material. Again, I don't know yet, but I'm going to have to certainly think about this next month, December, because we've only got Christmas month for us to start to really think about what we're going to do. Um, I mean, like I say, this might not have any implications with me because of me not being monetized and don't have ads on the videos, but... There's certainly something about this because even though that is the case, I'm not monetized. It's not probably not going to affect me because of that. But all this stuff now coming out of the woodwork about deletion of channels that aren't viable to YouTube, where they don't generate any money. So that's my channel. I have never generated money for this platform. I've never had a channel go above a thousand subscribers where I can finally start earning revenue. I don't do that. I've never been viable to YouTube's eyes. I've always been around the 300 to 400 subscriber mark. I've never exceeded that. So, I'm still at a loss. I'm still confused, but I'm going to ride it out. I'm not going to delete my channels yet. I'm going to just see how things go and probably the final week before January of next month, so the final week of December, I'm going to have a, dis a serious discussion, serious thought about how I can proceed. And I'm going to then see about deleting any child-friendly videos just as a precaution. 
Um, that would mean I'd have to completely just go completely blank on my TF Nosy channel, so just no videos available and just start uploading again, just uh, start anew. Um, and then obviously I would have to get rid of my vlog channel if that was the case, because there's no point of having my vlog channel anymore if I can still operate over my TF Nosy channel, but completely start anew. I don't know. Either that or I delete my TF Nosy channel and start again on my vlog channel. I don't know. There's still that back and forth. But I don't know. That's all I'm going to talk about in this vlog people. Sorry again for making a video similar that's like this but I just don't know how to feel. I don't know how to move forward. The only thing I can consider is just as a precautional measure just get rid of anything that's family friendly or chat or for kids as they would deem it and then i could just continue from that that's all i can think of but if my if my channels survive until january none of them will get deleted because they're not viable to youtube and they don't generate any money then we will see if i survive if i survive if i survive by january 2020, then I will seriously consider doing something like that, just as the precautional measure. I might piss off a few people, people might think I've jumped the gun, but end of the day, I don't have £42,000 or dollars. Nobody does, unless they're a millionaire that can just sneeze this money up like it's 20 quid. So, thank you for watching, see you soon, and uh, be awesome. And I hope those of you out there get sorted yourselves. And please don't delete your channel just yet. Just ride it out, see how things go, and then evaluate the situation before January. So just ride it out for now and just see how it goes. And then if your channel survives from being deleted, then continue. Because then obviously YouTube see your channel as a viable thing that could become something in the future. We don't know. But anyway, so thank you. Bye-bye. See you soon.